Hey guys, welcome to our podcast. This is Muhammad Yahya Khan. I am currently pursuing Masters of Applied Computing from University of Windsor, Canada. And today we will be talking about software engineering in medical and healthcare sector. We will mainly highlight the theoretical aspect and practical aspect. Before that, I would like my teammates to introduce themselves. Yeah. Khushi, please. So, my name is Khushi Patel and I am currently pursuing my math degree from University of Windsor. And, and I am also a student of University of Windsor and my name is Manav Patel. Okay, thank you very much guys for introducing. So, first of all, I would like to know from you, Khushi, mm-hmm. uh, what could be the theoretical aspect of software development and engineering under medical health sector. Uh, can you please tell me? I really want to know. Sure. So based on my knowledge and my gathering information, I found out that software engineers plays a crucial role in a medical sector. Uh, let's talk about the machines which are designed. Uh, that are being used in the hospitals uh, that which are made by the software engineers uh, spe- uh, the electrical and the mechanical field so the software engineering is used in medical and healthcare sector to create the manage to create and manage the computer programs which can help uh, the nurses and uh, the doctors and other professionals to manage their patients records and their hospital records so we can understand this by various example so let's take an example of electronic health records which is also known as ehr uh, in that software engineer creates a system in which uh, they, there can be the notes of the doctor the tests and the results of the patients and in that software the doctor can update that the the patients Yes, and anything which doctor wants to um, means it is quite user friendly. Yeah, Even a doctor yeah. which is not uh, having any background in yeah. software engineering computer, mm-hmm. he can easily manage. Yeah, it. he can easily Fine. manage it. Now let's take another example, which is medical imaging system. Okay. Uh, we can think that about the MRIs, CT scans, uh, all of that, X-rays. The machines that are being used are very user friendly, like. Uh, the doctor can easily understand the image by the CT scans and all of that. So in that also software engineering plays a very important role. So yeah, this is the theoretical uh, aspect that I have an information. So uh, how did you gather this all information about theoretical uh, theoretical aspects of our topic? Yeah, this question also (laughs) comes in mind because it is not from directly from the industry and life. So, if not, then what could be the possible question? Yeah, very good question. Yeah. So, I did a good amount of research from okay. reading various research papers from mm-hmm. IEEE Explorer. Okay. I think it is the one of the good resource. That yeah, that's wrote, like yeah. one of the best well, yeah. 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 And going through some of the articles and some books. So, all these research helped me to gain information on this particular topic. Yeah. Well, it's Amazing. a great job, yeah. 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 Uh, by uh, referring to a uh, lot of terms. Like of nowadays, people do not rely on going through the exact yeah. authentic research paper. They just go to uh, Google, Google and yeah, so maybe some article from Quora on Reddit, Max or Max. Yeah. But yeah. this is really like hats off. <laughs> okay, yeah. so uh, Yahya, uh, mm. I think you have an uh, interview with the person which is an expert in uh, in the software engineering and he has the work experience of 10 years so how did you get a knowledge about our topic that health sector uh, uh, so do yeah, you know any I, I got your point yeah, yeah. Uh, in you are just asking ki, like uh, we have got enough theoretical aspect yeah, and knowledge yes, 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 so yes. like I had I want to tell you my audience uh, just few days back I interviewed uh, a guy who has been working in public and health sector with over last 10 years oh. means extremely yeah. like <laughs> 10 years we could not expect that yeah, level. Like, what DK. Yeah, <laughs> like we are not even point one percent till yes. yet of him so I had a really detailed and uh, full of information, uh, informative interview with him. Okay. So it's like a treasure of information and sources. 
so it's not possible for me to accumulate all of the point and information <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, i have noted down the key points and terminology so that i can remember whatever he said mm -hmm. so first uh, answer he provided being a software developer engineer majority work involved improvising and updating our existing health portal so it's uh, all about yes now i got to remember it's all about just improving and facilitate the existing uh, healthcare services, quality of product. Uh, just make yeah. it more good yeah. anyhow, maybe more user friendly, more seamless data is flowing through data structure, whatever it is working mm -hmm. according to your need. Like once you said maintaining patient record, yeah. it should be secured in nature. Yeah. So basically it should be an efficient yeah. way, all the things. Yeah, so and software is something that increases with time. Yeah. It okay. cannot be degraded. Like I remember once uh, I was in my bachelor's degree in computer science, five, six years back. Oh. My professor <laughs> drawn two uh, graphs. One was like it was a time and performance graph. One was with time performance is decreasing. And in other one, first little bit decrease, then increase. Yeah. So he asked, there was 50, 60 students, which is software, which is hardware. Okay. So uh, students were confused and they gave mixed answer, maybe this, maybe this. I uh, didn't give a quick answer. I first analyzed it and I said, sir, this one, the bar stuff bro. Yeah. He said, why? I said, because sir, I have been using iPhone that time I had iPhone 5S. Oh. By every update, it is increasing and people using even 3 and 4 at that time, 10 year old, but there is nothing wrong with the software. All problem is with battery and the hardware part. Yeah. Okay. He said absolutely right. So same professor told me that 10 year experience I also told me. It's all about improvising and giving better quality solutions okay. and best result, good yeah. user interface and just keep improving with time. Okay. Oh. Oh, so, can you tell our audience that what are the real applications of software engineering in the healthcare sector? Yeah, I asked him about the like how software application play a role in healthcare and medical research. So, he answered, uh, software uh, products play a vital role in enhancing the life of their overall health. It gives people ability to understand different aspects of healthcare. Whether it's the information regarding medication, different condition or reaching out to mental health profession, software update, like in, uh, let us say, 10 or 20 years back, yeah. for basic texts of thyroid, sugar yeah. and BP, a lot of complications are required. Like first they pull out the blood, yeah. then go to the labs and then with the chemicals, uh, whatever the color changes of blood, they match with the grading. Yeah. It requires a lot of hard work complications and chances of errors were also extremely high. So yeah. that's why they did an ample amount of from different places in order to get and sometimes the results were also yeah. not same. Some lab was showing something different. Yeah. But nowadays, as we all know, within fraction of time, all of our full body checkup, whether complete uh, blood count, thyroid, red blood cell, hemoglobin, sugar, BP mm -hmm. and Everything I don't know, like I am not a medical guy, but you know what I am basically trying to say. So that's how like it increased. Uh, it's kind of miracle nowadays. Yes, Before I 10, 20 years, a normal person cannot think about it. So software development in public and health sector, medical sector, really like it is revolutionary and yeah. this is something uh, like amazing. Yes, I, uh, yes, I remember uh, when I was a child, my parents used to give a blur report mm. uh, to a laboratory and they used to give it after one uh, one day yeah. so yeah. Uh, in the medical sector the time is very precious yeah. because after a time uh, one time period mm. uh, it is it's crucial not, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, and in uh, diabetes i also heard uh, suddenly yeah, it changes very high right. and yeah. very low so we have to take the uns uh, insulin very carefully. Very careful. so if it's taking one, two days to control, <laughs> then might be possible the person will, I don't yeah. know how to say so that. So software yeah. engineer yeah. plays yeah. a very yeah. important yeah. role in this. That right? increases the human development index and yeah. life expectancy also. Yeah. Like in the independence, 
our life expectancy was 50 to 55 year every yeah. night and now it has increased to over 70 years so that shows how medical health sector mm-hmm. has, so has worked in India yeah. so uh, I think it's like a boon for, uh, for in the uh, uh, healthcare sector that the software gives a very upgrade version of uh, yeah. every equipment and people are using like uh, I think uh, I'm also using a diabetes analyzer at my home which is very useful and yeah. uh, and blood pressure controller yeah. is also available at my home that yeah. uh, whenever I feel like uh, not bad mm. and not good so yeah, I just uh, I just equipped it and checked in the just fraction of a second so mm. uh, this is the upgradation uh, from the day uh, for, from the first uh, day of the decade and the last yeah. day of this decade. Yeah. So yeah, Definitely. software engineering is required in that particular product also. Mm-hmm. It is playing a very important role in each and every part of the healthcare sector nowadays. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So based on the interview, can you mm-hmm. tell the challenges that are being faced nowadays in this particular industry? Yeah, yeah. I asked him about that. So uh, <laughs> let me just quickly go through yeah. what he said, then I'll explain. Sure. So challenges are um, uh, he said uh, one challenge that everyone facing currently is easy to access to healthcare. Yeah, I got to know. Okay. Now uh, everyone is not a medical science expert, right? Mm-hmm. Like for example, we mm-hmm. we are software developer. We don't know even an iota about what is medical science, even yeah. the basics of that. Mm-hmm. So now the information is so accessible okay. uh, through software. And as he said, we can check our sugar at our home, our blood pressure. But the question is, uh, do we know the exact procedure? Like yeah. we have some uh, protocols, rules mm-hmm. and regulations, the level of hand. You mm-hmm. should be like not running before running the BP. Yeah. You should have uh, not drink coffee and a lot. Yeah. List goes. There is a lot. Yeah. So these are small things are very complicated in the field of medical science. As uh, everything is available on internet, Reddit. So what people are doing, they just read few articles and uh, they think they know everything. Yeah. So they cannot be equivalent to a doctor who did a 5.5 year bachelor's <laughs> degree, then 2.5 years yeah. a master's degree. Master's and degree. And then he also Sorry. prepared for that uh, bachelor's degree for one or two years. Then experience of 8 to 10 years, did thousand yeah. of surgery. So there is a difference. Yeah. So we cannot uh, reach that level by just studying one night on internet. Yeah. And internet source is also not always authentic. Yeah. Because... Anyone can upload anything. It's an uh, open, open source. Open source. Yes. Anyone can do it without any proof. Yeah. Uh, moreover, uh, one more thing he told me about AI consultant. Yeah. So, <laughs> I guess you already know what yes, I heard. <laughs> yes, I heard about it. Uh-huh. So, okay, nothing against AI. Even I am also pursuing from AI specialization. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, they are not enough mature enough. Like yeah. uh, Chat GPT sometimes give very immature code. Yeah. Uh, like in the system, yeah, in system instead of system dot out dot print, it just says system dot print, yeah. or it forgets the semicolon. Yeah. We know we can fix it, but for a layman, he cannot find these mm-hmm. basic bug fixing and yeah. error detect. Yeah. So suppose if AI is your consultant, <laughs> and by going through your report, if he said a little plus or minus you don't medication or something. Yeah. So it will cost your life as well. Yes. So we have to tell them, uh, the our audience, you have to use software and everything. Okay, accessibility is there, but under the guidance of expert phone. Yeah. Don't try to be a doctor at yes. your home. Yes, and I also go through uh, some... Somewhere I uh, somewhere I read also that uh, many AI uh, AI robots are also helping in uh, medical se- uh, medical sectors like yeah like uh, in, in surgeries in surgeries oh, really? doctors are, yeah doctors oh. are using uh, many, really. yeah. uh, many AI uh, AI robots with as a helper but they also need some a uh, doctor oh, with them. obviously yeah. without a doctor like you cannot uh, yeah I wouldn't allow like only Software robots doctor. are coming to like. Yeah. Yeah, do <laughs> I also don't. Uh, you, you yeah. And I think one of the challenges could be the data security. Your data, the data security, data integrity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that uh, I told you that they, uh, the software engineer, mm. made the software for the doctors and mm-hmm. nurses. Mm. But there should be a data security mm. of the patient that the data mm. should be secured and Your. stored. I think uh, there should be enough. A secured version of the software available mm. in the market, mm. so that 
this problem there is something be. i guess currently cyber security yeah. engineers and network engineers they are working on yeah, we working hope on. like uh, yes but not uh, not uh, yeah, secure in, uh, in this date uh, it will Yeah. Yeah. As I said in the very starting, the software is all about like yes. improvisation. Yes. It's a never-ending yeah. process. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, not like that. This is the fully stop now. No. No. Yeah. So uh, at the end of the day, we can say that a uh, software can't replace doctors, yeah. but they are doing an exponential yeah. uh, along with the doctor, yeah, not along with the doctor, doctor yeah. not alone. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. so I really think that software engineer will. Really help in the medical and well, health sector yeah. in and the future. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So, so thank you very much, Khushi yeah, and Mana. You. So last but not the least, uh, I would like to say that uh, we discuss theoretical aspect also. Practical aspect also. So we get to know. Okay, a little practical uh, theoretical knowledge is required. For example, yeah. if you fly a rocket. Then you cannot just go sit and uh, explore yeah. the buttons. <laughs> what they are doing might be possible. One button will get blast. Yeah. Yeah. So you should know the basic. Like this is the start button. This is all. But end of the day, whether it is software development, hardware development, product management, yeah. design, anything in the world, yeah. it's all about practical, 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 practical and practical. practical. Okay, thank you very much, guys. That's all for our side. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care. Goodbye.